Hi guys, it's Samantha and I am back today with another Facts on Authors video. This week we are going to be discussing the wonderful Ella Montgomery who is the author of the Anna Green Gables books. I love Ella Montgomery. She wrote one of my favorite book series, Anna Green Gables series, which I read back in middle school. I just love her books. If you haven't read them, I highly recommend you read them because they are excellent. Oh, you can't help but just fall in love with Anne Truly. So check those out if you haven't already. I decided to do Ella Montgomery because I don't know that much about her. And I think it would be really fascinating to learn more about her and her life. And I was not mistaken. Let's get started on our 15 facts about Ella Montgomery. Fact number one, Miss Montgomery was born on Prince Edward Island in the year of 1874. Fact number two, her mother died shortly before she turned two years of age. So her father sent her to live with her mother's parents where she, whom she was raised by. She very rarely visited her father, didn't really get along with his new wife, and so she was raised basically by her grandparents. Fact number three, at the age of nine, Miss Montgomery started her writing career. She started writing poetry and keeping a journal which she carried on with throughout her entire life. Fact number four, at the age of 17, Ella Montgomery received her first publication in a Prince Edward Knight newspaper titled The Patriot. It was a poem titled on Cape La Force, which I am certain I am saying that wrong because I'm pretty sure that's French and I don't know French, so sorry. Fact number five, at the age of 19, she became a teacher and she graduated with honors. She never really liked teaching that much, but it was a source of income that she could sustain her while she pursued her real love and passion writing. Fact number six, between the ages of 21 and 22, she attended the Dalhousie. I'm going to put the name right here because I know I'm not pronouncing that right. University in Halifax. And she was one of the few women of her time to seek higher education in Canada. Fact number seven, in 1898, she returned home to care for her ailing grandmother who was left alone as her grandfather had passed away. During this time period, she continued writing and seeking publication in various magazines and newspapers throughout America, Canada, and the UK, earning modest sums from 1899, which was... Mm, it's $89, and by 1904, she was making $500, which is quite a bit of money for the turn of the century. Fact number eight, in 1905, she wrote her probably most famous novel, Anna Green Gables, but it was rejected multiple times, and so she ended up putting it away. Which brings us to fact number nine. In 1907, she decided to try again, and by 1908, she was finally able to find a publisher, and it became an instant and immediate success. Fact number 10, Ella Montgomery in 1911 finally married and had three sons. Fact number 11, Ella Montgomery kept a journal her entire life. This has given many scholars an insight into her life and how the events in her life affected her, and it showed a deeply compassionate and loving woman who often was left feeling depressed by the tragic events in her life, including World War I, which deeply affected her, the death of her stillborn son, Hugh, and a death of a close cousin, Freed, as well as other various tragic events in her life. Fact number 12, in her life, she published 20 novels, 530 short stories, 500 poems, and 30 essays, which is quite prolific, I think. Fact number 13, Miss Montgomery became the first Canadian female to be named a Fellow of the Royal Society of Arts in England, as well as being invested in the Order of the British Empire in 1935. Fact number 14, in April of 1942, Lu Lucy Maud Montgomery was found dead in her bed, and beside her bed was a note that said, I have lost part of my mind by spells, and I do not dare think what I may do in those spells. May God forgive me, and I hope everyone else will forgive me, even if they cannot understand. My position is too awful to endure, and nobody realizes it. What an end to a life in which I tried always to do my best. So the official record is that she died of coronary thrombosis, which is a clog in the heart valve. But her granddaughter and many others believe that she may have committed suicide. Her granddaughter says she's often depressed and uh, just upset by a lot of the things that occurred in her life. That they don't think that was necessarily a suicide note. They think that was actually supposed to be an entry in her journal. But either way, it's it's sad. I think she is such a from what I read, she is such a wonderful woman. She cared a lot about the people in her life, and she did a lot of wonderful things for those around her. Which leads us, finally, to fact number 15. She never felt that she had gained that one great book, despite her huge following and how much people loved her books and her character of Anne Shirley. But as Mark Twain said of her character, Anne Shirley, she is the dearest and most moving and delightful child since the immortal Alice. And I think any of us who have read Anne Green Gables will feel the same way. She is just a wonderful, wonderful character that was 
books just make you feel so warm and fuzzy and I just I love Lucy Maud Montgomery for writing them they were a big part of my childhood both the mo the books as well as the mini series and I just I love her books so much so if you guys haven't read anything by her I highly suggest picking her one of her books up they're quick reads they're just really 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 good and they will just make you feel all warm and fuzzy inside so yes take my advice and do it all right guys that was my third installment to my facts 15 facts on authors series let me know down in the comments if you like this video as well as what you thought of the facts I presented as well as letting me know if there's any authors in particular that you guys would like to see me do a video on thank you so much for watching Watching. and as always guys happy reading and bye hello guys it is Samantha and I am back today with the spooktacular book tag I guess you can't tell from my Halloween